Hello, Emmanuel here. Welcome to another video of the Know Your Node series. Today, we're going to talk about the Distance node. And as always, I'm going to explain how it works and show some examples of how to use it. Let's begin by creating a Polygon node, a Uniform Color node, and a Distance node. Connect the Polygon to the Mask input and a Uniform Color node to the Source input. Now let's check the parameters. We have four. The Color mode that only sets the channels that are being used between grayscale and RGB, the maximum distance that handles the intensity of the effect, the combined source distance parameter that defines if the output will only have data from the source or if it will mix it with the data from the mask, and the distance mode that will define the algorithm that we are using. Let's play a little with the node. That way we'll understand what all that means. First, let's set the color mode to grayscale since it is easier to understand one gray channel instead of all the RGB channels and let's increase the value of the maximum distance. As you can see, this looks like a bevel operation. What the node is actually doing is to expand the value of the mask with the data on source. For example, if we replace the uniform color with a node disk and then transform it like this, you can see that the mask is expanding only if there is input information. Now, if we add a pearly noise into the mix by multiplying it by the disk, We can see that all the new pixels that are being created and working as a bevel are taking the gray values of the purling noise. So in the end, the distance node is expanding the data from the mask input with the data from the source input. Now, if we select to use only the source in the distance node, we get the same bevel or blurring-like effect over the original source data. We can see it more clearly if we connect the purling noise directly to the source input. Now let's talk about the algorithms. The Euclidean mode is a balance and soft expansion of the shapes. The Manhattan one enhances the horizontal and vertical expansions. And the Chevy shape one enhances the diagonal ones. With the basics of the distance node explained, it's time to see some examples of how to use it. The most common way to use it is to create non-uniform shapes that can be based for rocks or rock tiles. To make them, you need to create some random shapes with random positions. You can use a tile generator or tile sampler, and connect it to the mask input of the distance node. Next, create a float field and a float field to random grayscale, and connect it to the source. Now in the distance node, select only source and increase the distance. Finally, you can add an edge detect to create the tiles. If you change the algorithm in the distance mode to Manhattan, you'll be able to get some straight lines that will resemble inorganic organic shapes, like the ones you can find in circuit boards. The second most common way to use it is to use it to fix mask issues. For example, if we multiply the tiles by a pearling noise and they use a grayscale mask, like this one, we'll get different depths in each tile, which helps for realism, as you can see here. But because of the dark lines in the initial tiles, we'll find some black line artifacts. To avoid the issue, we expand the grayscale mask with a distance node, and to do it, we connect the original ties to the mask input and our grayscale mask as the source. We set the combine to only source and increase the distance. This will expand the mask, and now if we use it, the dark lines disappear. This method can also be used with float field to gradient node if you want to expand the gradients and multiply them by the tiles in order to get different angles. As we saw it already, another way to use it is to bevel shapes. We connect the mask input to the shape we want to bevel, then in the source a grayscale uniform white color, and in the distance node we have grayscale, combine, and Euclidean distance, and the maximum distance will define the level of the bevel. This is especially helpful if you want a soft bevel in a complex shape. We can also use the node to break edges. For example, we create a tile generator and increase the X and Y amounts to reduce the scale. Then connect it to the mask input. Then we connect the black and white mask shape to the source input. Be sure that you have selected only source in the combined parameter and the distance will break the edges. 
This can help a lot if we want some sharp angles breaks in the edges. And finally, one of my favorites. To add some folds under a shape like you can see here. All you need to do is to add the shape as the input mask and a purling noise as the input source. Then in the distance node, set it to combine and increase the distance. Then blur the results and mix it back with the original shape. In this example, I'm blending it with a max light. Finally, I blur it a little more and it's ready. Well, that's all for now. Hope you find these examples useful. If you can think of another one, please comment below. See you next time.